now, Eyewitness Sports. Questionable decision-making last night among the Yankees brass, whether it was Aaron Boone, Brian Cashman, doesn't really matter. It seems the Yankees outsmarted themselves in last night's Game 2 loss against the Rays. David Garcia used as an opener for one inning before giving way to Jay Happ, who pitched poorly, giving up four earned runs in two and two-thirds innings. Yankees never able to claw their way back. And now the series tied at one game apiece, heading into a crucial Game 3 tonight. Aaron Boone and Jay Happ spoke about yesterday's decision to pull Garcia after just the one inning. The roster's built to take advantage of the platoon, the platoon advantage. Um, so, um, you know, felt like, you know, I was going to go to Jay pretty early and aggressively, uh, you know, as long as they went with the, the heavy lefty lineup. I mean, as far as, you know, I wished I could have performed better, you know, for sure. Um, uh, I don't think I, I didn't uh, get into a groove, and, you know, I give them credit for that, I think. Probably the last we'll see of half this series. Game three starts in about a half hour. Masahiro Tanaka takes the ball for New York. Marlins and Braves playing game two of their NLDS Swanson series today. Shortstop Dansby Swanson gets Atlanta on the board. Solo shot in the second inning gives the Braves a 1-0 lead. And in the bottom of the fourth, Travis Darno, the former Mets, he blasts one off the signage in deep left field, doubles the lead. Marlins' best chance to score, top of the sixth. They had the bases loaded, two outs, but the former Florida Gator, Darren O'Day, works out of the jam. Braves only allowed three hits. They take a 2-0 series lead with a 2-0 win. Eagles grab their first win of the season Sunday against the 49ers, despite being pretty banged up, especially in the receiving core. Carson Wentz, though, he played well. Even with a lot of backups playing the majority of the snaps on both sides of the ball, the quarterback said to the media this afternoon, it's exciting when guys step up and make big plays on Sundays. There is some um, elements to it that's exciting, I think, for, for everybody. And there's just a lot of um, momentum on both sides of the ball. And guys just really get energized. You know, you see a guy like Alex Singleton uh, with the pick six. And I mean, the whole bench erupts because you, you see these guys and how hard they work in practice and they wait for their opportunity. So it kind of fuels and energizes the entire team um, to see guys step up and make plays. But um, yeah, I'm just really proud of the guys for, for being ready, being called upon and, and um, doing their job. Eagles Steelers battle of Pennsylvania Sunday at 1 p.m. at Heinz Field. Meanwhile, in the NFC East, another young quarterback uh, not doing so hot. Washington football team head coach Ron Rivera has decided to bench former first round draft pick Dwayne Haskins. Instead, he opts for the backup, Kyle Allen, to start this week's game against the Rams. Third string quarterback Alex Smith has been elevated to backup. Haskins ranks dead last in quarterback rating, 27th in the league in completion percentage and 26th in yards per pass attempt. Washington 1-3, and three, a quarter of the way through the season. That is your check on sports, guys. Being a